Okay, now when I finish the problem, I want to test it on sample. There are multiple ways to do it. First of all, you can copy the sample, you can highlight, like select it all and then copy, or you can just click this button, even without selecting, it just copies it to the buffer. Then you can run your program. You can do it in your IDE, or you can do it in console, like I do. Let, let me run this. Now you can paste the copied input, voila, you are printing some output, which is in my case the correct output. However, if you try to download the real input, it will probably be a couple of megabytes, maybe 10 megabytes or 20. You will probably not be able to either paste it here, the console may just hang, uh, hang up. and even if you paste it, you will probably not be able to wait until the whole bunch of stuff is written to the output. Well, okay, no, in this particular case it's okay, like waiting for the 140 numbers to be printed, but in general it is just not a correct way to pass it all from the buffer. What you can do is you can save this file, which you will be given when you download the actual input, and then you can copy it into a separate file. Again, you can open it in the editor, in the text editor, maybe even in your IDE, but I don't recommend it. I just show you on sample how to redirect input and output and stuff, but in general do not do it. So one way to read from the input and write to another file, if you write in C++ you can do it inside your program. For example, you can write free open your input file, okay. R string meaning that you are going to read, and then standard input. And similarly, you can specify the file where you want to write your output, W standard output. Again, it's not needed on sample, but it will help, help us later. Let's compile. Compilation finished. Now you can just run. It printed your output to the output file. Indeed, the output file out.out .out is exactly what you want it to be. Want it to be. Okay. Another way is without this, so your program now still reads from console but you can redirect in the console, I mean it reads from the standard input, you can redirect in the console the input. It sounds like this. This just reads the input from the file called in.in, .in, and you can similarly redirect it to the output. It prints the output not to the console, but to the out.out .out file. Uh, okay, so these were two ways how to deal with large inputs. In our case it wasn't large, but, you know, it will be. Now, what are you going to do? Uh, first of all, you want to validate your solution. It will perform some sort of sanity check so that you don't accidentally send the wrong file, you don't do anything plain stupid and so on. In order to do this you need to download validation input. The download started, so the validation input is 15 kilobytes. 
uh, it's in your downloads folder probably or whatever is set up in your browser I made the script for myself that just input moves it here under the name q.in uh, so I can run my code on this q.in redirect it to for example out.out .out. okay it finished I won't show it to you uh, okay now you submit the output file not your solution let's hope that it works okay it works on this test again it doesn't mean that my solution is likely to be correct it just means that it prints some stuff that needs to be printed it doesn't print what like it doesn't have any formatting errors it doesn't have some stupid maybe overflows or whatever they check it on i don't know now you may want to print the actual answer you will have one chance to send this solution how it works first of all you download the input uh, then you upload the output as simple as that you will have a six minute timer within this timer you will need to run your program on the input and upload the output and upload the source code and submit if something goes wrong, if your solution hangs or I don't know, if you like check the answer with your eyes, like trying to see if it outputs anything suspicious or I don't know the answer should be large but you never print anything above 2 billion or something like this, you may resubmit it but you may do it however many times you want but when this timer is over it's over you cannot submit to this problem anymore okay and earlier in the previous seasons uh, you just downloaded the text file it could be very large and once you pressed the download button the timer started now some people may have slow internet connection so they came up with this solution you download the password protected file and the timer does not started yet see it's 20 megabytes if you try to open it with your text editor or with your IDE it will likely like stuck is very likely to stack. So let's move the archive here. Now it has instructions how to unzip it. It's not an easy problem. Your default uh, archive programs probably won't do it. But here you can see in Windows you have 7-zip software. You can download it here in Mac okay in mac you can use the default program for this in linux you want to download this software then run 7zE the file i usually run 7zx this file probably e and x both denote the extract <laughs> and also you will be prompted for the password you want to enter it or copy paste it or whatever also this program admits minus p parameter so like again I wrote a script for myself by the way if you want the move input here script here it is uh, let me even do it like this with syntax highlighting you can write it to yourself it's doesn't spoil anything to the solutions or whatever 
and I also have this script and pack. It's very simple. It just runs program 7z with parameter x with the first argument that you pass to the unpack as a password and it unpacks the q.zip. Then whatever text file is unpacked, it will always be the only text file in this folder for me. For you maybe it's not like that, you will probably want to adjust this line. Copy it to q.in and remove the archive, I don't need it anymore. Uh, okay. So when I'm ready, when I'm ready, I will click get password and start timer. Then I will get the password. Um, okay. Uh, let me think. I'm not ready. I want to compile it in release, which means I compile it with O2 flag uh, that enables some processor optimi optimizations. And it disables the debugging flags that makes my problem slow, program slower and in particular check for something like checks the bounds and so on. Okay, but I have a long recursive function. What I mean by this is that I have the function that runs calls itself, that calls itself, that calls itself and so on. It has very many layers of recursion. So what will happen when I do this? Let's see. I copy the password again, I can just click it. I have the archive. Uh, let's unpack it with this password. Everything is okay. Now let's run it. And moreover, let's just to see the progress, let's write something as I is done. Compile it. Run. Okay, segmentation fold. Now, if you are using GDB or an IDE debugger, you can run it. And you can see that the call stack will be very large at the moment when it crashed. This will probably mean, this will surely mean, that you have a lot of recursive states. It takes space on stack. I will explain later what it means. How can we fix it? Let's try. There was some comment on code forces about this. For example, under the previous year announcement uh, of practice round or qualification round or the whole Meta Hacker Cup in general. Uh, there is this comment limit on Linux. I don't know if it will, will work for me or not. It will probably not, because it's set on unlimited. Set unlimited. Let's try again. Oh, it worked for me. It worked on Linux. If you write you limit minus s unlimited, if you had the right to do so, the problem will finish, the program will finish. Let's just in case submit it. I have four minutes remaining. Not a reason to hurry, but uh, let's submit it just in case. I will be able to resubmit it if I want to. Uh, okay. Another way to fix it is Um, let's try, let's try previous year, again I forgot the exact round, quo d, or maybe 2020 quo d2. Let's 
look at my solution from that, yes, you can see that again on Linux and probably on Mac, you can include this line, maybe not on Mac, I'm not sure, in the includes, and then add these lines to the beginning of your main file. You can replace this 512 with whatever you want. Um, it will be, as you see, this is the number of the stack size in bytes. And what it did, what was here, it was again some DFS function. It can run itself many times. And if our graph was a bamboo or in general a very long graph, this could run on a large layer of recursion and the compiler wants to store all the states when we when it ex exits from the functions on these recursion layers. What it means is that when you run DFS of for example zero minus one it will evaluate something it will store local variables 0 and minus 1, then it runs this, and it will allocate another pair of local variables, like 1 and 0, x and v. After it evaluates this and run another GFS, it will need to store another pair of variables, 2 and 1, and so on. When it exits from the last GFS, it just pops the variables, returns to the previous, like, uh -huh, in this DFS, my V and P are like 199, and proceeds with the evaluation. Then it runs again, and so on. This pushing and popping the variables is performed on the stack, which is usually not very big. By default, it's about couple of megabytes, maybe up to 10 megabytes. Uh, there is a way, there, is, there are multiple ways to manually set the st stack size to what you want. I have half a minute, I probably won't resubmit. So, in order to do this, uh, you can probably do something like this, or you can set something like Pragma stack size in Visual Studio on Windows or in Mac you can do something else. Let's try to find this to find these ways to deal with this problem. Okay, let's see Meta, Meta Hacker Cup Finals, Meta Call for Finals, T-Shirts, Round 3, Round 2, Round 2, Round 1, Qualification Round, Editorial, Qualification Round, Scale. Time looking for, yes, Meta Hacker Cup 2022 Qualification Round, Second Thread Post, here are some solutions. Also you limit as unlimited. Uh, Pragma comment linker stack on Windows, on Mac. Also you can click on these links. There will be some older comments. For example on Linux just run this. It is a very old problem, not a very common one. This way, this way, at this, at this, 10 megabytes. Increase stack size, go to settings compiler. If you use code blocks or Visual Studio, probably the same thing will work. Can you limit minus s unlimited? I don't know, here may be something. So, just google it, it will be fine. Uh, again, practice round doesn't matter, but anyway, good luck. Get familiar with the system. See you in the round one. Bye.